Welcome to another episode of Search News You Can Use with me, Dr. Marie Haynes. It's been a while since I said that. I uh, have not done podcasts and I've missed it so much. This thing that Google announced today about Google Reader Revenue Manager is blowing my mind. And so I have not, uh, I'm going to do this off the cuff and just share some of my thoughts. I want to walk you through what this is because I actually think that uh, this means that Google wins. Uh, in terms of the AI race. I know that doesn't sound like it's connected to AI, but hopefully I'll be able to explain it as we go uh, through this episode. Today, Google announces this Google Reader Revenue Manager. My first thought was, oh, this is about newsletters, which was actually very exciting for me. And I'm so excited about this for much more than just newsletter. There's been some controversy recently where Substack, a lot of the world's leading thought leaders are on Substack. There's some really good information that comes from there. And Twitter blocked links to Substack. So my first thought was, oh, that's what this is about, is Google is trying to get people to do newsletters here. This is so much more than newsletters, though. I want to talk a little bit about my own experience with creating content and how this is likely going to change my life and help a lot, a lot of people. And eventually, when we connect the uh, an AI dialogue agent uh, to this type of system that Google has just suddenly given us, which is this has been in the works for a long time. This has nothing to do with Substack. Uh, it, it, it's this is a big deal. This is going to change the entire web. Now, this week, uh, Google came out and said that they're making a whole new search engine. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about Magi. Magi is going to be a whole new search engine that's driven by AI first. Uh, it'll be a whole new experience. And so this is, you know, the way that things are working online is is changing radically. It's not that Google's just going to put Bard into the existing search engine. We'll have that at first, uh, but they're going to be doing whole new things. And I think part of it is going to be driven uh, by what I'm going to walk you through here. So let's Let's just go through uh, this revenue, grow, grow your revenue. When you open this up, this is an interesting thing. First of all, is that you can, there's information for Google News. And so I'm not going to explore that now. I'm sure that you need to have qualifications to be recognized as a, a source of news. Perhaps that is something that uh, that I can do. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is what um, I'm mostly interested in. Reader Revenue Manager. Make it easier for readers to subscribe and access your content using their Google account. Now, I publish a newsletter, and if you subscribe to my newsletter and you pay for it, you have probably been frustrated with my newsletter. Uh, I started it many years ago and have cobbled together over the years these series of WordPress plugins and uh, Stripe. At one point, it was PayPal. There's there's just such a confusion. Uh, there's a problem with login cookies. There is a lot that goes wrong. And so I've been considering jumping to a newsletter platform. Uh, and when I saw this, I realized that pretty sh I'm pretty sure that what I can do is uh, just put my content under one URL, which I currently do, um, make that, you know, make that folder for paid users, and then Google will do all of the work in getting people to subscribe. And it will be very simple. It'll be as simple as, um, you know, on your phone or on your computer, uh, you need to go to the Google Play Store uh, and then just subscribe. Here's the first interesting thing is I put this in, this is the name of my newsletter, uh, because I'm positive that I'll be switching over here. Although I'll have to see because I have people who pay me through Stripe. So, um, I don't know what will happen there, uh, but I'll definitely be doing some type of option on here. Um, but you can add other things. So let's say, let's say I want to publish. I've been doing a ton of gardening lately. David's the genius in gardening. Let's say we want to write down all the cool stuff that we've learned, and we want to let people subscribe for a, a small fee. Uh, I can make all sorts of publications uh, where uh, it'll promote me, it'll it'll encourage me to create the type of content that is really, really good and helpful for people. Uh, and so uh, that's what the web initially was. It gave us this a forum where we could create stuff that people were, were looking for. And then what happened was uh, we found ways to manipulate that. And we saw, we saw that, wow, if I create one post that can make me this much money, what if I could create 4,000 posts that do the same thing? And this awful thing happened to the web where we just publish so much content uh, for the sake of publishing it. And now people will be publishing content 
the only content that will do well under the system is content that's really good and helpful to people. So here's the page that you see when you uh, go to this new publication that I'm going to set up. And first thing I see is I can select whether or not there's a paywall, which is fascinating. So there may be places where you can offer free information. And I bet you that's something that uh, Google will use as a source of information from some of the world's uh, leading experts and, and thought leaders. So I can choose uh, whether I want to offer subscriptions or uh, um, so limit access to some or all of your content. Uh, yeah, so I can basically uh, do that for my newsletter. Right now, there's a whole chunk that's for free, and then I put the you know some interesting stuff uh, for paid readers to help them do their jobs. Uh, and and so that sounds like something that would be very easy to do. And you can set your own price point, um, and then or you could do contributions. Uh, and so uh, I feel like this is something where you could sell products. This next part, if you click on it, it opens up a place where you can put in your address and your uh, business information and it's essentially the same as setting up a uh, an account for YouTube uh, to be able to pay it. I, I just recently got monetized on YouTube after many years of creating videos. I wasn't aiming for that. I think I've made about like maybe eight dollars so far on uh, YouTube ads. Uh, but um, so we'll have these profiles where uh, we can be set up uh, to be to to receive money from Google. Then what happens next is you, uh, and I, I'm probably going to change this. I just put this in for now, but uh, you, you know, I'll probably have a specific URL for my, I don't know, maybe I'm going to make a new newsletter. I'm not sure what I uh, will do with that. Um, but uh, you just kind of upload your branding information and, and photos. Uh, now, let's take a look at this terms of service. I won't be able to read the whole thing. And uh, definitely, I should probably say that I am no lawyer. Uh, so I'm just looking for interesting things in here. This part's interesting, feedback. You're not ob obligated to provide Google with feedback, but for feedback that you provide, you grant Google a non-exclusive worldwide perpetual license to, uh, to use that feedback in any manner Google chooses. So feedback is really important for reinforcement learning with human feedback, and I would expect that Google's training stuff by, uh, by giving us this. There's no doubt that eventually the service will be connected with uh, with some type of large language model dialogue uh, capabilities. So Google is the merchant of record. And that's interesting because uh, basically now I can make money from my newsletter, but I don't have to deal with the people trying to cancel or the people who are trying to sign up and uh, you know we have this dumb bug that it makes some things difficult sometimes all of that goes away with this all right you will pay a service fee equivalent to five percent of the price so there's where uh, google's going to make some money from this wow uh i mean i think five percent is fair for what uh, for what they're uh, for what they're giving us but this is the new ad. You know, Google, one of the concerns over Google is how their largest source of revenue right now is from ads. And if people, you can put ads in a, in a language model dialogue uh, type thing, but, um, but not, it's not the same as people going to websites and seeing display ads and, and all the way that it works now. So this is a brand new big source of revenue for Google. I'm not sure what this is. If Reader Revenue Manager becomes available for non-web-based transactions, such as on a mobile app or other platform. I read today something about uh, from Zapier saying how uh, easy it is to set up a QR code uh, using Zapier to set off an automation. And I was like, oh my gosh, people are going to connect QR codes to auto GPT and we're going to have all sorts of stuff. But you know what? <laughs> I think this might be where this part is headed, is we're going to get to the point soon where, uh, okay, so say we have a we have this wonderful garden that lots of people come in and visit. And I bet you soon I can put up a QR code or just a button in the garden to say, uh, press this button and you can dialogue with all of the information uh, about it. And people will be able to walk through the garden. And uh, as long as I've put up a document of like, oh, yeah, these beans are here. And, you know, I can basically do a, a guided tour for people without even needing a website or, yeah, I, you know, I'm seeing, I, I might be, 
I don't know what to say about that. I, I just think that there's a lot of good things coming. What I didn't find in there was what they are doing with our data. Uh, and so I'm not going to speculate on whether uh, it's being used in some way to train, lang train language models or help Google stay up to date with what uh, the world's thought leaders are saying. But I really feel like there's something there in terms of AI. What's going to happen now is that all of the people who have content are going to be able to charge for that content. And I think this really puts us in a whole new direction. So I don't know if that's been confusing or helpful, but I really wanted to walk through that because I think it's going to change so many things. I, my head is bursting with all of the possibilities. Uh, if you want to learn more about SEO, about Google search, and about AI's role in search and all of the upcoming changes, it's my full-time job to stay on top of that. You can find my newsletter at mariehaines.com slash newsletter. Um, although, who knows, maybe I'll be moving to a new platform soon. Thanks so much for listening and watching. If you're watching on YouTube, YouTube's algorithm is going to suggest another video for you to watch. I'd recommend watching that.